800. See, the truth is that we're frequency, and we go through life tuning ourselves to different frequencies. And just like the radio, when you tune yourself to a certain frequency, you get what that frequency has to offer you. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. Welcome to the podcast that's offering you greater. You are now tuned in to the Greater Existence Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte. Greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. Nothing changes until you do. And that should not be problematic. Acceptance of change for your betterment should always be embraced. So today, on this episode, episode 7 of the Greater Existence Podcast, we're going to talk about the things that get in our way. The things that stop us from being that greatest version of ourselves, and I'm referring to our excuses. Why do we have them? Why do we utilize them? What is it? There must be a benefit that they offer us. It takes away some type of responsibility or connection to a desired result by taking you away from it, by taking away your ability to get it done. And we have to change this ability that we have to not only come up with excuses, but believe them, standing on them, living your life by them. I could not move in the power that you see me moving in, using the excuses. Some of you allow to govern your life. I just couldn't. I wouldn't get the stuff done. I'm going to give you an example, and I'm going to use an example from the last Manifest University retreat. So there was a statement made not too long ago, speaking on how much Al, Tutson, and I accomplished during the retreat all the different events that we accomplished during the retreat under the same umbrellas of time. And given the same opportunity, somebody else would have an excuse of why they would not have been able to accomplish what we got done. They would have said, you know, I got this to do before, I got this to do after. They would have had to move with much more attention, would have had to move faster. We was prepared for it. Some may not have shown up prepared for it and used that as an excuse. Because that's what we do. We make excuses. We make excuses to get through our days, our marriages, our relationships, to deal with ourselves. We make excuses. And it's time to excuse the excuses. You with me? Now, I'm pretty sure you don't identify as a liar. I'm almost positive that you don't identify as a liar. You won't introduce yourself as one. You don't tell people that you are one. You probably don't feel like you're one within yourself when you're talking to yourself. Yeah. You consistently lie to yourself. And how do you do that? With your excuses. I mean... I mean, every time you get to moving in an anti-God way, which is moving in any type of direction that does not promote your infinite possibilities, because you know you do have a choice on what you endorse and promote in your life. And any time you get on some shit that's not endorsing and promoting your infinite ability, your infinite possibilities, that's not endorsing or promoting the power that is within you. Well, you're telling yourself a lie. And you're believing it. You're doing the devil's work. I used to always hear an old lady that uh, watched all the kids in the neighborhood. When we'd be loud and unruly, she would yell out, you're doing the devil's work. You're doing the devil's work for him devil ain't even got to make you be bad you choosing to be bad that's what she was saying and that would forever be funny to me but now i see it i see it because now we understand that the devil is any energy that's anti-god it ain't no 
almighty, all-powerful, mystical energy that's reigning and ruling over your life and causing bad things to happen to you. No, it's the lies that you tell yourself. I'm going to give you something good that might change your life. The devil is in the details of the lies you tell yourself and love to hear. You always heard them say the devil's in the details. But it's in the details of the lies that you tell yourself and the lies you love to hear. Some of these lies are sweet nothings to you. Lullabies. You love them because they make you feel comfortable in the identity that you want to have and that you want to hold. I was talking to somebody recently, and when I asked them a question uh, regarding their sexuality, uh, she responded, it's like, I'm not a lesbian. I said, ma'am, I hate to, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but as long as I've known you, you've liked women. You've got down with women As long as I've known you So what do you call it? <laughs> she said I don't identify as, as a lesbian I said I hate to tell you this But whether you identify it or not Your actions identify it So you tell me what the correct term is That you want to go by Because based off of your actions you see where I'm going with this? You might be lying to yourself just a little bit. Why do we do that? Not too long ago, somebody came to me and said, I really want to be in your manifest mentorship. I like the results that I see around me uh, from the other people in MU that are in mentorship with you. I like what I'm seeing taking place and I really want to be a part of that. I really want that for my life. I really believe it's going to help me get to my next level. But I can't afford it. Mm. I like that shit. I want that shit. I need that. But I can't afford it. And for a moment, I even believed the lie with them. That maybe financially that was the situation. In a moment, I kind of felt bad for the person for a moment. You know, when you like, when you see someone genuinely expressing that they want something, you know, we have that natural thing that makes you just want them to have it. Listen, you can't want something for somebody more than they want it for themselves. Let's get back to it. This person's already in Manifest University. In fact, this person is in MU Honors. So for those who don't know, that is a service of mine that costs $59.99 a month. Now, for the package that they want, the Manifest Mentorship, that's $99 a month. So, we're talking about a $40 difference from the service that they have and the service that they want. And then I seen them at the Manifest University retreat bragging on how much money they spend on weed a month. Mm. So you was lying to yourself. You can't afford it. You absolutely can't afford it. You just place value in other places. Because the truth of the matter is, you would obviously rather just smoke up the access that you wanted to be granted to your life. You would rather have a smoking session talking about your excuses rather than aligning with what will bring you a solution to your problem. Let's stop making excuses, people. Let's stop believing the lies. Let's be real with ourselves and everything around us. How many next levels could you be at if you let go of the bullshit that you holding on to? Not only do you believe this shit, you regurgitate it and want other people to believe it with you. Sowing falsehoods throughout your day. Telling these stories that you want to be real. It's time to excuse your excuses. It's time to stop doing the devil's work. 
These excuses will paralyze you, paralyze your progress, and stop you, and almost have you committing yourself to not having what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, what it is that you say you wish to have in your life. In the grand scheme of things, your excuses will have you committed treason. Now, the worst part of these excuses is you're creating them. You know, it's one thing sometimes when we're dealing with misdirection and misguidance and misinformation, you know, erroneous programming that was instilled in you or given to you from your environment. But that's not what we're talking about, is it? We talking about the excuses that you made, that you created, just so you can hold on to your bullshit, just so you can not be accountable and not be on some real shit. And we ain't with that. Over I don't know where you came from. I don't know who endorsed it. I don't know who believed it. I don't know who told you it was okay to move in such a way. But I'm here to let you know that it's not the, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Not if you try to tap into your Greater Existence. I need you to replace. Each and every excuse with an affirmation and an affirm action. Both of them. I'm sorry, let me say it again. In case I said it wrong. You need to replace every excuse with an affirmation and an affirm action. Stay with me, I ain't trying to lose you, alright? In case you don't know what an affirm action is, because I'm pretty sure you're aware of what an affirmation is. An affirm action is when you get to the shit. That's when you get to the business. That's when you get active. Like they say where I'm from. That's when you get out there and you do it. And I'm going to tell you a secret that maybe only the greats know. So be careful who you share this with. Magic is in the amount of time, the small amount of time, that it takes for you to think it and execute it. For you to think it, speak it, believe it, and execute it. There's magic in that. You want to be magical? You want some, voila, poof, there it is. You want some abracadabra in your life? Start executing without delay. Start excusing your excuses. I hear too many excuses, and I see too little execution. Maybe if we stopped telling the stories, making the excuses, wanting to go back and deal with the dead, deal with our past so we could be okay with today, you would have the power, the energy, and the time, and the overall just finesse to do what you needed to do in a powerful way. And I know this because I talk to a lot of people as a manifest mentor. I talk to a lot of people and they tell me that they spend so much time dealing with their past to try to be okay in the present, in the right now. And they ain't got time or mental space or ability to do what they need to do in the now because they spending so much time in the past. Every time something happens, you run back to the past. You think you got to go do some inner work or shadow work or, or some, some deep work on the inside and not that those things are bad. They all have their right time and proper place, but you ain't got to do that shit every time something go wrong. Listen, every time you mess up, every time something go wrong, you ain't got to go back into your childhood and figure out where the root of that is so we can uproot and deal with it. Listen, what do you want right now? Based off of one of you, what you want in the future, what is it that you need to do right now to connect you to that? That's the move that you need to make. You don't always got to do all this time travel, Okay. You don't always got to go back to your past to deal with your right now. Why don't you look at what you want for your future and operate in the now accordingly? Welcome to the Greater Existence Podcast with me, Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. 
prior to me joining, I was in a very dark place. I joined MU a couple months ago. You know, everybody that I know says, like, you're not the same man, you know, mentally and spiritually, especially the way you speak. You speak with conviction. And I'm like, because I found my home. I found my place. I think much clearer now. I see things, you know, different. You know, it's been a life-changing experience. Um, Those that, you know, they're really looking for a change. Those that want to be around family. Those that just want to live a better life. Come join MU. The experience that I have here is not what I have at home. What do you I'm mean gonna be that? honest, in all honesty, this is home. You ready to take this experience of ours to the next level? Join Manifest University, be a part of my active community, empowering lives, breaking generational curses, and creating generational wealth. Be in my daily calls, my weekly classes, in the Discord, be in our Telegram group chat. Listen, connect with divine minds and elevate consciousness on a daily basis with me and Manifest University. You go to BrianHippolite.com or do you M U. Dot com. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast. Listen, we are extremely habit forming creatures. So we'll take a practice, see that it works, and then just do it over and over and over again. And that becomes the new religion. You stop praying and start using affirmations. You stop believing in a deity and started believing in energy and astrology. You know, shadow work and metaphysics have become the new Christianity. Everyone thinks this is where all the power lies and what's going to make you greater. Stop believing in everything else and start believing in yourself. Make a decision on who you are and what you want and what it will be and move accordingly. Move forward. Not based off the past, but based off of the future. I've watched a lot of people excuse what they have the capacity of doing right now because they believe the limitations of their excuses. And the truth of the matter is that belief doesn't always stem out of ignorance. It exists because that excuse is offering you something that you enjoy. It could be that addiction to powerlessness you've heard me speak about. It, it could be the ability to do something else that you kind of maybe rather do than handle whatever this responsibility is. It could be several things, but you got to start being true to you at this level of life. There were some things that were excusable at another level. There were some things you could get away with. At a previous level, there were some things that were able to be excused, but it's not here. Not for where you say you want to go now, not for what you say you want to have now. You're going to have to level up. Someone who wants to play basketball is well within their rights to have excuses that work for them. That could not work for someone who said they want to play basketball and win a championship. There's a different level of commitment. There's a different level of responsibility. To get to that higher level, there's some excuses that you will not be able to tolerate. Because they will prohibit you and not lead you. To the desired destination. You hear what I'm saying? You've heard me talk. You've heard it. Uh, you've heard it in the book and manifesting you. You've heard the book tell you that habits have a destinations attached to them. Guess what? So do your excuses. So do your motherfucking excuses. And you've made a habit of having excuses, haven't you? I'm not judging you, I'm just nudging you. You tripping. Your excuses. Excuse your logic. Excuse your power. I'm going to go back to one of the excuses I gave you earlier uh, from the person that's in MU Honors that wants the MU mentorship. The one-on-one mentorship is $100 a month. Definitely priceless, but, you know, it's priced at $100 for that 30-minute one-on-one session with me. So, this person is in, as I said, MU Honors. The people that are in MU Honors have the ability, are the only people on this planet that have the ability to spend $40 and get that one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Because they're already spending $59 a month, right? So, although this person is in the most prized position, 
closest to the thing that they desire, closer than anyone else, they use an excuse to keep them from having what it is that they want for however long it's been, for however much time, for however many months that they have continued to not get what they desire, although they have the ability to do it, rather than believing in the ability, they believe in the excuse. And that has restricted them from having what they see other people have in their life that they say they want. And it just makes me stop and say, what other excuses are you living under? Because I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. So this don't come from a place of judgment. This comes from a place of, no, we're not doing this. We're not living under all these excuses that are stopping us from having what is right there available to you. No, no, because greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. And your excuses ain't a part of this great shit that we are. I need you to feel me on this. So whatever it is that you desire, stop with the I can't afford it. Stop with the oh, it's out of my reach. When you give yourself a luxury amount of non-luxury items every month just because that's what you want in your life, you find a way to get what you want. And you find a way to make excuses about the other, the other shit that you should be having, that you're not willing to make a reality Don't tell me that you ain't got time Tell me how you changing your schedule And making room for it Don't tell me how you ain't got time Tell me how you are delegating something And moving shit around And shifting things around So you can make it happen Stop with the excuses And come on with the actions Excuse your excuses Get them out the way You have infinite power Infinite ability And some of y'all got infinite excuses How dare you let these limitations reign and rule in your life this way I want to see your power I want to see your power Cause I know it's there I know you got it I know it's real And I want to see it Some of the most detrimental things you can ever put in your life are excuses. You've seen people not make it to their promised land because of excuses. You see people grow old and gray and even go to their grave being controlled by their excuses. And filled with unhappiness at the same time. They go hand in hand. Oh, they definitely go hand in hand. Apparently excuses die right before you do. I've seen death all my life. At one point I looked around and asked, like, why am I so surrounded by death? Why? What am I supposed to be learning and getting? from this like this is crazy i've seen way too many people in their last moments man how do i not get desensitized to this like really what what was the message and being surrounded by all this death look i've seen people in their old age and in, in, and in a young age, in their last moments, knowing that this life shit about to be over and all their excuses died all of a sudden. And all of a sudden they wished they would have done something different. They wished they would not have lived a life led by their limitations. I've watched a man. I've watched a man taking some of his last breaths and um, 
And in that moment, he wished he had not applied the excuses that he allowed to base his decisions off of. He wish he would have ignored the excuses that coming out the house on the shit that he came out the house on for what he came out the house on. He wish he would have ignored the excuse that told him that's what he had to do. He wished. He would have not excused himself from the things that would have had him be a higher vibration. Cause all the shit, all the tough guy shit that he was on, all the ego tripping that he was on, all the things that made him big and bad, that shit ain't matter no more. It did. As he laid there, knowing he's taking his last breaths. He knew that he had a set of excuses and they led him to a place that he did not want to be in at his final moments. He wish he would have just stayed on. He wish he would have made better choices. But he chose his excuse. He chose the excuse that excused him from being a better man in this situation that he was faced with. Somebody in the hospital Laying in the hospital Late in their life Having those moments That people have When they know The end is near Sitting there talking about All the things They wish they would have did All the lies And the stories And the excuses They have told themselves That stopped them From reaching their potential From maximizing Their greatness excuses die first y'all so since they gotta die first they might as well die now since you can't take them with you you might as well put them down right now they not gonna go with you you not gonna have them if you hold them hold on to them if you try to hold on to them for the rest of your life they still gonna go first so please Excuse your excuses. Now, time is of the essence, so let's do it now. Look over your life and say, where am I lying to myself? What have I gotten so used to? What have I normalized? That What have I allowed to seem so natural that it seems like it's the way to go? But something inside of me knows that it's not my greatest. Search, you'll find it. Cause habits have destinations. So do excuses. So if you got a habit of making excuses, you ain't going nowhere you trying to go. You ain't getting nowhere that you want to be. Does your life reflect your power, your ability? Your glory Or your excuses Your limitations Your lies And as you look over your life And you weigh those things out Don't be ashamed of it Because the glorious thing about it is None of it's etched in stone It can all be changed. It can all be altered. It can all be redirected. Matter of fact, you can do something about it today. But you gonna have to get active. You gonna have to make a move. You gonna have to show yourself, your ancestors, your guides, your universe that you believe in. Say what you believed in those excuses. Go out there and do that thing or be that energy. 
exist in that vibration so you can create from that vibration whatever is necessary whatever the situation calls for you gonna have to get out there and do it and the longer that you excuse yourself from what you're capable of doing is the longer you excuse yourself from your truth from the reality that you desire and from the legacy you're supposed to be creating and building. And the longer you keep yourself away from moving in your God state. Believing in the bullshit that you created. Y'all doing the devil's work. <laughs> I never forget that lady saying that to us as kids, man. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. You are now tuned in to the Greater Existence Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor. How did the Greater Existence Workshop with Brian Hippolyte and Al Tutson change your life? Uh, I mean, it's for those that didn't attend, it's hard to put in words. Like You just have to be here and just feel the energy. Like If you feel the energy, it just... It speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? You know, this isn't, this isn't, it's like, it's not a logo. It's a lifestyle. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know, come get your education, come get your spiritual daily bread, and you'll find everything that you need here. Even me just step, stepping upon Brian's page is just, it was like, it was like that turning point for me. And let's not forget, Love Letters is available on all platforms. Wherever you get your music, Check out my new EP. Love is love. Love wins. Love letters. Out on all platforms. This is Skyfall featuring Shannon LeGrand Range. Cross my heart and hold it down by your side. For you and I, put it all on the line. My favorite high, favorite piece of a pie. Worlds at war, I find peace in your eyes. Against all odds, we gon' make it there. And if it's a problem, we gon' take it there We got each other, we got it all Holding hands in the sky should fall yeah. the, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast Listen, either gonna be your biggest God or your biggest devil Believe in whoever you want Whoever, whatever gives you inspiration Keeps you connected to something greater. Believe in it. But you will always be your biggest God. Or your biggest devil. And if you don't believe that you are your biggest God, I can assure you, you have actively been your biggest devil. Mm. It's some level of accountability you're going to have to take. This higher realm of existence that you're waiting for is on the other side of the excuses that you create and that you believe. In the middle of that word believe is the word lie. You hear me? Listen, we was at the Manifest University retreat and I came in to do one of our events and there was a room full of women that tried to tell me why they were going to be late to this event that they knew they were supposed to be at at a certain time. Everyone had a different excuse. We got to normalize excusing the excuses. We're prone to make them, right? Like whenever there's something happening that we already know is below the expectation. We prone to come up with an excuse. It's a habit. Habits have destinations attached to them. We got to break that habit. This is what it's about. We got to move the needle forward. And if at this moment, it sounds like by any means or at all costs, those are the type of words that you say when there's an extreme change, a 180, a shift that's needed to take place. 
but really it's just developing a new habit small alignments lead to big adjustments don't you ever forget that you need to develop a new habit it's not a mountain we all know that we can move mountains but this isn't one of them this is simply developing a new habit that will lead you to where you want to go this new habit we're going to call it we're going to identify it as excusing the excuses i have a habit i have a good strong habit of excusing the excuses i do it wasn't always this way but now it is this way and I can't see no other way for it to be. I will excuse the excuse if it's not serving me. It must go. Everything for sale. Everything must go. You got to understand what I mean when I say everything's for sale. Anything that's in your life that is not leading leading you to where you want to be, it must go. Everything for sale. Everything on sale. Everything could get gone. And the reason that is, is because if you don't manage this properly, it's going to be a going out of business sale in a minute. It's going to be grand opening, grand closing. So everything for sale, anything that is not adding value must go. Everything for sale. We create new habits today. This habit that I've had of excusing my excuses has definitely always brought me favor. Favor in terms of connections and relationships and divine alignment. My God, like as fate would have it, there are some people of power, in power, that got a whole lot of love for me. I'm welcomed in rooms you couldn't pay to get in. That's favor. And I'm not just talking about in one particular instance or one particular industry. I'm talking about favor follows me everywhere I go. I don't cut myself off from the infinite possibilities that await me if I align with them. You're going to open yourself up to a world of possibilities when you stop making excuses and living by limitations. Although... Sometimes the excuse seems closer to you than the result. It's easier to grab that excuse. Sometimes it seems like that. Like it just makes more sense to have this excuse. Because the result is so much further away. Requires more attention and intention. So sometimes it seems like that excuse is the most reasonable thing to have. But when you move it out the way and operate in what we know and recognize to be faith, it opens doors. You know what favor is? Undeserved access. I remember hearing that when I was a kid in church, that favor is undeserved access. There's a lot of opportunities. That came my way That I can only look back now And know that they came my way Because of favor Looking back over my life Whatever I wanted to do Whatever I was trying to go Whatever I had an interest in The divine powers Always granted me this all access Behind the scenes Behind the curtains Pass To whatever that was Favor Giving me favor Undeserved access And this would happen Whether I was on some high frequency Or low frequency Low vibrations You understand what I'm saying Whatever I was on Somebody at the top was like Hey, I like you Come up here I'm talking about any story You've ever heard of the street rat Winding up in the palace Is what I've experienced Through favor A lot of these times came from not believing in the excuses that came into my mind. I have a way maker mentality. 
And if you're a way maker, make a way. Listen, it didn't matter what it looked like. When them people came to me and said, listen, your mom's medication from now moving forward, the rest of her days on this planet is going to be $800 a month. <sighs> okay. I think that might have been the first time I really found out, man, if I really need to, I could pull $800 to $1,000 out of the sky. If I really need to. Home care, $24 an hour. What? And it's either it's either be the caretaker or pay the caretaker, and the caretaker is $24 an hour, and I can't be the caretaker 24 hours a day, so I still have to be able to afford a caretaker in those other hours. Do you know what type of expense $24 an hour is a day to pay some people? Have you? Do the math. Have you ever thought you would have such an expense? <laughs> Do you know how much you better be making so that you can pay that fee as well as afford to live and take care of whatever other responsibilities you got to take care of? Guess what? When that shit came to me, I wasn't in that financial position. But when it came my way, we ain't bow down. We ain't lose faith. We ain't make excuses. We made a way. We got active. We got to it. We started moving in a way that made that shit happen. That made what was needed come to pass. Well, nothing skipping no beat. Because what I know is that this woman was not going to see a moment of lack in her life. I had already made up that decision in my mind and in my reality that this woman the rest of her days is not going to experience one drop of lack in her life. Excuse me, this started plenty of years ago, not just when the cancer, not just when the cancer came in. But that train ain't stopped. It didn't matter what came. This woman's not gonna experience any lack. So I'm going to do whatever I have to do to produce more than enough. 2020. I made my first six figures in digital real estate in an intellectual property. Selling these books, this course material different things like that and, I, and to be honest with you in 2020 there was so much going on just keeping up with my mother's health I ain't even realize that I was up six figures I knew um, all year that I wasn't checking my bank right I'm just being honest with you and I'm not telling you how to run your money or anything I'm just telling you what happened in 2020 I did not check my bank for the first six months of 2020 I now I see my my Shopify cash registers and the different money that was coming in off of sales so I had an understanding of what was being uh, accumulated but I I felt like if I was to open up my bank and I just got more money than what I'm used to having I'm going to change the way that I'm spending I'm going to start moving different and I ain't want that so I literally just didn't check the bank and just kept moving as if we don't have Nothing. Be honest with you. I made my first six figures in digital real estate and intellectual property being homeless. Living out of my event lounge. Sleeping in my office. Because my mother's residence wasn't too far from there. So it made sense for me to just make myself accessible to her as I'm running multiple businesses and being a full-time father. There's plenty of room for excuses. Plenty of opportunity for I can't. I ain't never. And I don't know how. So here I am, exceeding and excelling, passing all expectations. First first book out. Brand new space that I'm stepping into as a as a as an alt author as a speaker as an influencer and i'm sleeping in my event lounge when i really needed to get some good sleep i go get an airbnb or or i tell the kids stories that had to do with castles the, the little girls so they loved all these princess stories and all these castles and then i would take them to a really big hotel and i would tell them that it was a castle so they thought that we were sleeping in all these castles but we really didn't have a better place to sleep. And I was grateful. 
I was grateful even in those moments because I knew. I knew that medication bill was going to get paid for my mom. I knew that health aid was going to get paid for my mom. And I know I'm just going to keep making a way instead of an excuse. We found out found out what was in the bank and, and habits didn't change. We still, me and the kids going across the street to the little Spanish bodega and getting one meal for $4.99, splitting it three ways between me and my two daughters. We still moving. Like we putting, putting little bits together to make the ends meet. My mother and my sister came to me and said, there's an operation that we believe will extend mommy's life. And it's $80,000 I don't got no excuses I'm gonna let stand in my way I'm gonna handle business For what's important to me And for who's important to me So I ain't look at my money And say this was I would look at it So grateful that I could do What needed to be done for my mom Could have had plenty of excuses Plenty of ego Plenty of things that could have stopped me from getting and accomplishing my goals and getting that bread. Excuses that could have made me want to hold on to it. And people said, it's a chance that, that my mom's life could be extended. Take all this. They say she could go. She could go next month to start this treatment. Start showing me all these documentation. All this documentation, all these people from Hollywood that say they take their families there so that... They can extend their family members' life. We go to Santa Barbara, California to start this procedure. We have to do half of it in Santa Barbara. We have to do the other half in Tijuana, Mexico, because part of this procedure, which is really the part that like cleans your blood, um, is illegal in the States. So a lot of medical practices, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of medical practices don't allow that to be an excuse for them as well. What they do is they go ahead and get a, a sister facility over in Mexico. I don't know what you think the border between the U.S. and Mexico looks like, but it looks like a bunch of medical practices. Because as soon as you get to, to, to the Mexico side, there's all these medical practices that are allowing patients to get care that they can't get in the U.S. $80,000 for this procedure. And we here. We going through it. I, don't, I really don't normally get into my stories too much, but I just want to give you this illustration of what was happening in 2020. Less than 30 days after doing this treatment, Less than 30 days after doing this treatment, we come back home, doctors review her blood, and they tell me, this woman got 90 days to live. And they say, it ain't, ain't nothing about to save this situation. Start to say your final goodbyes. And as my heart was broken, I was happy that I didn't allow any excuses to get in the way of what I could do for my mother. You're going to have to let go of those excuses. You're going to have to let go of the belief in the fear, the belief in the doubt, the belief in the indecision. Your excuses give you no power other than the ability to be powerless. Excuses feed your addiction to powerlessness. I say it so much and I teach it. It's a real thing. It's not even just something that I'm saying because it sounds good. This is a real thing in my household. We was going somewhere yesterday. My youngest daughter was wanting to put her little baby doll in a car seat, in a seat belt. As she's trying to do it, she's already in a car seat. She's already strapped in, so she don't really got the reach that she needs to put this baby doll strapped in the car seat the way that she wanted to, like, make it click. And she whining about it. I can't, I can't, I can't get it in there. The whole older sister say, stop being powerless. Take yourself out in the seat. And then you could do that, what you're trying to do. But stop whining about it. 
Stop being powerless when you have power in this situation. The, 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 the greater existence podcast. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You do it enough, it's going to be second nature. You set the example, somebody going to follow it. So maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's for your legacy. Maybe it's for your children to see the change and understand these principles at a very young age, at an early age, so it can be embedded in them. Because they don't learn what we tell them. They learn what we show them. You hear what I'm saying? So show them how to excuse the excuses and move in their power. Show them how to be powerful beings that move with intent and create desired results. Because nobody's making you powerless but you. This has been another powerful episode of Elevated Consciousness on the Greater Existence Podcast. My name is Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor, five-time author and founder of Manifest University. To tune in and tap into my daily calls and my weekly classes, go to brianhippolyte.com or do you mu.com. Use discount code GREATER to save 30% on everything at brianhippolite.com. Discount code GREATER. G-R-E-A-T-E-R is going to save you 30% at brianhippolite.com. Don't forget to use discount code GREATER and don't forget to get the Greater Existence book, 111 Keys to Walking in Your Infinity. And if you're ready for the accelerated path, that greater resistance coaching, 12 individual coaching sessions over four months to give you the understandings and the tools to have a greater existence, life and legacy. This is available for small groups as well as individuals. Go to BrianHippolite.com for the greater resistance coaching. Thank you for all the support on my new EP, Love Letters, which is streaming on all platforms. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and elevate. Definitely about to take the podcast to the next level. I thank you for all the support. Don't forget to check out my affirmation albums. Again, on all platforms. I don't want you to forget that the only thing that's standing in your way are the excuses that you make and allow to reign and rule in your life. But greater shall you be, greater shall you do, and greater shall you have. A rising tide raise all boats. So elevate some lives around you as well. Share this podcast Look I wouldn't water you If I didn't want you to grow Until next time Be great, be powerful, be guys New episodes Dropping every week 7am like a sunrise church service I love you to life I wouldn't water you if I didn't want you to grow I look forward to you joining me And my powerful community at Manifest University Don't let nothing stand in the way of your greatness. Not even this present version to you. Let's go ahead and end this the proper way. With the greater existence affirmations. And don't forget they're streaming live on all platforms. I love all that is coming before me. I am an extension of source energy. I see endless opportunity. And I will enjoy aligning with the ones that are aligned with me. I am elated to be in a place of alignment and opportunity. I like the forward motion feeling I am feeling. I see universal energy responding to my thoughts. I enjoy the assurance and confirmation I receive that I am in alignment with divine energy and operating on frequencies of abundance. I feel empowered and highly capable. I love that I am my greatest source of solution. A 
and no longer my biggest source of problem. I am at peace and experience thoughts of pleasure and abundance. I am happy that I am attracting aligned relationships that increase all that is positive within me. I enjoy seeing all that is great within me influence greatness on other people in other environments. I love the power I possess to be greater than I've ever been. I welcome my glory. I welcome an outpouring of God's abundance. I feel the presence of God in all that I do. I love the feeling of clarity and understanding that is within me. I am grateful for all of my experiences and I can see how they have prepared me to excel at this very moment. I love that I have released lack, accepted abundance, and begun walking in my infinity. This is a great day, and I am connected to abundance because I am connected to the source energy within me. My authenticity brings me power, and I use that power to prosper in my divine purpose. Everything is working out for me. I have released all resistance to my abundance. I have laid down every mindset, action, reaction, behavior, and energy that creates a resistance to my peace, power, prosperity, and joy. Today I will not create limitation. Today will be a day well lived. On this great day, I remain open to the pleasures life has to offer me and is here to bring me. Today I will get closer to my goals. Today I will avoid the distractions of anything not related to my purpose or goal. I will move in alignment with the vibration of my greatest self. I accept that I am exactly where I am supposed to be right now. And there is something that will add to my ability to have Peace, power, prosperity, joy, and abundance. I find comfort in knowing the divine power within me knows the path I should take that will have the least resistance and offer the most joy. Today I will live out my purpose. I know and I understand that I have entered this space of reality at this time for a purpose greater than I. Today I will direct my thoughts and intentions in the directions of my purpose. I am aware that if I respond to things differently, I can get different things out of them. Today I will not relinquish my control over how I respond to the events of life. What happens throughout my day will not dictate my attitude, outlook, or how I feel. I have already made it up in my mind that peace, clarity, and purpose rule and reign in my life. I will only direct my energy towards what will bring an abundance of the things I want present in my life. I am connected to my highest vibration. I am connected to the infinite possibilities of peace, power, prosperity, joy, and abundance.
I am safe. I am secure. I am rooted in this present moment. My body is my home. And I pledge to always build it up and never tear it down. My body is a safe home for my radiant spirit. I vibrate powerful, abundant, peaceful energy and attract this same energy in return. Deep inner peace is my natural state. I cultivate an atmosphere that promotes freedom of idea. If I am ever unsure, stillness brings the truth of myself back to me. I am grateful to know that I am always deeply loved and supported by this universe. I deeply appreciate my ability to remain calm and peaceful in all situations. I am grateful for the abundance of strength that radiates throughout my entire body. I build my life on the foundation of faith, peace, love, purpose, and alignment. I am whole and complete, exactly as I am. I trust that my life is what it needs to be. I release and abandon every thought and path that offers resistance to my abundance. I have everything I need. I nurture my body with what it needs to flourish. I respect my body's need to rest and my mind's need to recharge. I am grateful for the current opportunity to reach my goals and highest potential. I love this feeling of high vibration. It is natural for me to experience love and joy. My life moves in harmony and ease. I will conduct my mind and emotions in a way that does not lead to stress or anxiety. I enjoy identifying my plan creating my plan and executing my plan. I rely on my inner knowing and intuition to guide me. I am fully present in this moment of gratitude. I am aware of the boundless amount of wonderful things that await me. Today is a great day and I will be great in it. I embrace this new day and find joy in its arrival. Today I embrace the rhythm of life and let it unfold. I focus on action to create the life I want. On this great day, I know and I trust my intuition to take me in the right direction. This day is full of greatness and great things. There is greatness waiting for me today. Today I am overjoyed. Today, peace is with me. This is a new day, a new opportunity, a new beginning, a great opening of wonder, a gateway of infinite possibilities. I will find much purpose and fulfillment in this day. This day will bring me opportunities to expand my knowledge, my understanding, my strength, and my ability. I am great. I feel great. I am thinking great thoughts about myself and my life. I am showing up as the greatest version of me today. Today I will rise to the opportunity to be greater than I've ever been. Today is a great day and I will be great in it. This is my greater existence.